Hello again, Mark W here. And Rob Bob. And we are going to continue our trip in Drew Buffalo Castle today. This is part three. We didn't expect it to last this long. And uh, normally, these adventures don't take quite this long. But I guess it's because we usually die, probably. <laughs> well, then we so, cheat a little bit. <laughs> and we cheated a little. We should have died. But at the same time, we were neglecting a warrior bonus previously. Just to reiterate, the warrior bonus is for each level of your character, which is two, you get to roll. And, uh, an extra die yep. per weapon actually so because we are dual wielding butcher knives that means we get four extra dice okay but yes we did cheat a little bit and say oh that, that that doesn't count and then a while ago we decided we're not doing that anymore we're on our last life so to speak so anyway we are um as i wrote up here on the character sheet we last left off at 22a and i just looked at the uh, paragraph here and it reminded me that we are actually in this four-way intersection right here on Rob Bob's beautiful map. Which I messed up a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a racing, whatever, it's fine. We thought it would be more fun to draw the map as we go as opposed to just using the map that is it's provided. provided for you in the book. So before we started recording, we were just looking at this map and we realized this looks like a corridor we have not explored. So perhaps we will go there. Alright. Let's go to the paragraph. I feel like that's one of the only places we haven't gone yet, but I'm not sure. Well, there's a few things here. There's some doors here and here. Um, but mostly you're right. I think that's about it. This corridor here and these two doors. Okay. And to reiterate our goal, we're trying to find a uh, potion to heal a girl in the, in the town. And this place is supposed to be... um Like a castle? It's a castle. Buffalo. I was trying to think. It was run by a. It was built by a man, Evil. wizard, or something. Oh no! Crazy, insane guy. Crazy, insane guy. I don't think you actually find the crazy, insane. Uh, I, mean, I think I, you do, right? Well, do you? Okay. I think you like fight. Um. Anyway. Anyway, you walked down a short corridor, and you are now at a four-way intersection. Um. So I'm gonna go east. Roll a die to see if a wandering monster oh, okay. appears. Six means a wandering know, monster in this adventure. No Most wandering. Monster. Monster. Okay, so you want to go east, right? Yeah, I want to go east. That is 14B. Get ready to draw your map. Maybe not quite yet. Uh, not yet. You have walked down a short corridor and are at a T intersection. If you wish to go west, go to 22A. If you wish to go north, go to 3C. If you wish to go south, go to 17B. Okay, I would like to go north. I'm going north. <clears throat> By the way, this is part three in our adventure, and I'm suspecting this will be the last part, because we're either going to die or finish it. However, I thought that with part two, so who knows? Could be th four parts. Could be five parts. Could be not. Probably not. Okay. So anyway, you've entered room number 15. Alright, so... so... Draw your 15 on the map. Just draw on the, every time I go, oh, I should sit on the right side because, because the left-handed Rob Bob here, uh, his hand obscures the map while he's drawing it. But every time I forget about that, then we wind up in our usual seats with me on the left and Rob on the right. Whatever. There is a large tree growing in the middle of the room. There appear to be emeralds gro growing on its branches and rubies lying on the ground. Okay. If you wish to pick up the rubies, go to 10B. If you wish to pick the emeralds growing on the branches, go to 15B. If you wish to leave by the north door, so there's a north door, go to 11B. If you wish to leave by the south door, go to 14B. Okay, uh, I'm going to pick up the rubies because they're already there and I don't want to to work through picking. Okay, so we're gonna pick what's on the ground because we're lazy. Yep. There are three rubies and they're worth 100 gold pieces each. Go yeah. back to 3C. Okay. But nothing happened. And I, I guess I can pick emeralds if I want to. You can try. So what do we got? Three rubies, 100 gold each. I feel like that tree is gonna attack me. I'm just gonna go north after this. 100. Cool. You know what? No, I'm just gonna I'm gonna pick up ruby. Uh, not ruby. Emerald. Pick pick uh emeralds off the off the tree. Okay, pick emeralds around the branches. Go to 15B. I don't feel like I should. No. I'm gonna try things. What did you say the tree was gonna do? Attack me. The tree comes to life and attacks you. <laughs> wow, how did I guess? It has a rating of 25, three dice. Right. Which is easy for you and is not affected by poison. 
Yeah. Not, none of those are a big deal. If you succeed in killing the tree, you go to 20 C. So how many dice do I have? Okay, let's, let's go over our character briefly. Um, we have two dice per butcher knife plus the two dice warrior bonus per butcher knife. So that's six. Well, it's actually eight. Oh, right, because I'm level two. Yes. So eight dice plus four for the butcher knife plus your personal add is 15. So eight dice plus 19, you're going to murder this tree. Well, let's do our usual right, uh, scrap paper business. How did I guess that it was the evil tree? Away? We don't know if it's evil. Maybe you're the evil one. You invaded his home. But I'm, I'm we'll saving a person, so it's, it's sure. Real. Let's go with that. I got a four of the second. I might as well collect some money while. I'm so what are we doing here? Mr. Uh, Twenty-five. So it gets three dice plus thirteen. Yeah, you're gonna kill this thing. All right, let's roll. Hopefully no uh, spite. Okay. Yeah, that's like the worst thing you have to worry about. The occasional spite damage. You got one spite damage. I got, uh, let's see. So right there were his dice over there. 20. Here he got 11 plus 13 is 24. 29 plus my ends are 19? Yes. Okay, that's 48. You are correct. You have inflicted 24 points of damage, leaving it with an MR of 1. But unfortunately, you took, took one, one spike. spike. Yeah. So your constitution is currently 9. That's the ugliest 9 I've ever written. And a round 2. So it has it keeps its 3 dice, but the ads go down to 1. Mm. Well, this might be this no spike, and you pretty much guarantee to kill it. You can roll if you want anyway. Um, yeah, I basically defeated it. It got 10 plus 1 is 11. Your ads alone beat it. And, oh, yeah, so I defeated it. Die, evil tree. I get 25 adventure points. <clears throat> uh, I believe so. Let's go to 20 C and see what it says first. <clears throat> Sometimes the character might dictate how many points you get. I'd like to collect uh, this money. I don't collect any. Yeah. Because you killed the tree somehow. The emeralds are fake, worthless. Go back to three C. All right. All right. So we'll take your twenty-five adventure points. You are up to. We're running out of room in this box here. We'll have to erase soon. Well, I still think it was worth it for the adventure points at least. Yeah, why not? Okay, where were we? Uh, boo -boo -boo. The emeralds are fake, worthless. Go back to three C. <clears throat> All go north. Um. Yep. Yeah. North to 11B. This must be the evil wizard. Okay. I remember it being north. You walked down a short corridor and entered a small room. There was a very strong looking woman laughing at you and daring you to fight her. Okay, so this is the wizard. I, I am Xena Warrior Princess. I know. This is the wizard. Oh. She tells you. Well, you don't have to spoil it. Sorry. <laughs> She tells you that in the chest behind her, you suddenly know it's a very expensive looking chest. There's a fabulous treasure, but you must fight her to get it. If you wish to fight her for the treasure, go to 24C. If you wish to turn around and go back, go to 6C. If you wish to try to convince her that you are on a vital mission for the nearby town, go to 28G. Alright, well, convincing is going to be charisma, which I probably don't have enough. It didn't tell you the room number, did it? It did that's fine. We'll All figure right. it out. Alright, um, so, I think I'm just going to fight her. Fight! Because I'm not going to be able to convince her. I don't have much charisma. That's true, your charisma is 7. She'll probably just attack you anyway, if you think. Yeah. And then she might get, like, an extra damage. Maybe. Which I don't want. She has a rating of 23 dice. I have a little correction here because I'm a little bit anal. Um. Alright, so this will be even easier than the tree. We will call this um, strong woman, muscly woman, how about muscly woman versus me. MR20. You're probably a little bit overpowered for this adventure with your warrior bonus yeah. that we had previously. We died, we died in this when we were playing. I don't think we were recording. Mm -hmm. But, um,. I forgot. I don't think I was using my warrior bonus. Eleven plus 
Ten is twenty-one. Twenty-one plus my no spite. No spite. Okay. Ten. Twenty. Twenty-four plus so forty-three. You have slain the muscly woman. Okay. Because forty-three minus twenty-one is uh twenty-two. She killed her, you don't mind, see? Uh-oh. Okay, anyway, let's take the adventure points, I guess. Um, uh, can I upgrade anything? Probably. Alright, uh, 16. Sorry. Alright, uh, what adds to your ads? So what adds your ads? Strength, luck, strength, dexterity, dexterity, speed, and luck. I'll add something to my dex. So dexterity. Okay. That'll give me one extra ad. So you can afford just one point in that. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, that's, what, that's all I want to do. So, and the reason for that for our viewers is to upgrade an attribute that is currently at 12. You have to spend 120 because the cost is 10 times the attribute. If you're new to this. So you're down to 43, but you have a dexterity of 13 now, and one extra add. So I, you, I think this ads. is a terrible eraser, right? Yeah, oh man. Yeah, their erasers aren't bad. <laughs> one of these days I'll get penciled with good erasers, but for now, eh, this is actually erasing okay. At first it was terrible, but now it's decent. So we got 13, and our ads are now 16. Uh, speaking of writing ugly numbers, there's our six. There. All right, so here's the deal, though. There is a flash of light, I knew it. a clap of thunder, and the fighter has returned to life. She is twice as strong as before. Oh, if you wish to fight her again, go to 18C. If you wish to give up and leave, go to 11E. Fight again. <clears throat> fight again. So if she's twice as strong as before, do you think that means she'll have, she'll have MR 40? Probably. That makes sense. At 5 dice plus 20 versus your 8 dice plus 20, I believe. So you'll be stronger than her still. 3 dice stronger. Also, we have special uh, knife bonuses that I forgot to mention. Because earlier in this adventure, we had encountered a um, oh, right. sword slot enchantment thing. I could scare her away, but I don't think that would work on like bosses and stuff. Whatever you'd call her. Yeah, I mean... We'll Play about here if we think it applies. I don't think it would. Okay, you're very generous. <laughs> I don't, I don't. All right, yeah, let's just, we'll just we'll just go. With it. You're probably gonna be here anyway. Um, okay, but anyway, basically, there's two abilities his knives give him. There's one that gives him three points of armor, and the other is a singing sword. <clears throat> For each combat round, he rolls a die. On a roll of one, a uh, roll of six, actually, the enemy runs away. So you're fighting again, 18C. Her rating is twice what it was. Don't forget, if you kill her, go to 21B. Okay, so okay. now we have... A 40 MR muscle. Doubly muscly <laughs> woman. So now she's like double muscle. MR 40, yes she is. Five dice plus 20. Versus Demon Dwarvo. All right, let's um roll. I will roll in math. Well, you roll in math. <coughs> roll in math. You rolled pretty. Hello. You rolled poorly. A lot of ones there. Um. Um. Yeah, we didn't roll so high either. That's the monster. So uh, I like to add up by ten. Eighteen plus nineteen. No, 10, eighteen plus twenty now. Thirteen plus twenty. I got thirty-eight. Thirty-three. Thirty-eight. Okay. Any spite? No spite. No spite on either side. What'd you get again? 38. 38. So muscly woman takes um, uh, 5 damage. Okay. MR is now 35. Ads get reduced to whatever half of this is now. And that would be 18. Mm -hmm. So she'd be a little weaker. In the older editions, you used to reduce the dice too, but they decided to re revise that rule. Maybe because monsters kind of Went on a down, downward spiral a little too quickly. I don't know. Okay. Roll again. Okay. 
but I'm better than And I guess we're not using the singing sword. <laughs> yeah, I'm not using it. We're, we're deciding this is a boss, and you cannot use that special power Good. to just make a boss run away. Mm, 10, 16, 20, 16 plus 18 is 34. 46. Wow, really? Yeah. That's right, last time you got a bad roll. Yeah. All right, so that is a difference of 12. We're now down to um, <clears throat> 2, 1, 2, 3. Okay. That makes the ads reduced to 12. You're going to get hit with a spike, but I think you are going to beat her up some more. 18 plus 12 is 30. N, 20, 29, 49. 49. You have inflicted 19 damage, bringing her down to 4, but you take 1 spite. Boom. Bringing your constitution down to 9. Oh, that's actually uh, Sorry, uh, 8. Oh, even you were, worse. You were at 9. That's not good. But well, you should get her this round. It's a question of does she get any spite in as as she <coughs> dies. Alright, so I got a pretty good roll. She no got spite. no spite. I think it's safe to assume that she 18, that 20. Ten. This is a two ed, by the way, now. Mm. She got a twenty. Ten, twenty-two. Thirty-two. Plus twenty. Hmm. So yeah, fifty-two is definitely gonna be. Okay, you mash her into hamburger. Then I eat the hamburger, recovering, oh, recovering all my constitution. Oh, boy. All right, so let's get our 40 adventure points, presumably. So last, last uh, playthrough we did on Buffalo Castle, we died here, I think. Oh, really? I think. So I think I'm doing better with my warrior bones. Okay. Yep, it's good to remember that we're warriors. 21B. What? What? <laughs> this is for real. What? What? Yeah, it's for real. All right. There's a flash of light, a clap Another. of thunder, and she has returned to life. Her rating is now twice what it was last time. You may fight her again, or you may leave. How can you beat her if she had MR nine uh, eighty? So, is this the same paragraph? No. I don't think. I'm gonna look ahead and make sure it's not the same. Paragraph. I think it might be. Yeah. Sorry, I shouldn't be giving you tips like that. You should just we should just go with it. So MR80, that means nine dice plus forty versus your eight dice plus twenty. I think it's actually impossible for you to win. I I mean if I could do the math and theoretically out, I could win. Probably something like that, but very seems unlikely. Uh I will leave now. Okay. Unfortunately, we gotta leave. 60. I can't do that. <clears throat> That's very small chances. This is a mean adventure, isn't it? Cut your charisma in half temporarily for the rest of this adventure for being a coward and refusing to fight. Go to 3 siege. What are you supposed to do? Well, it's like. Okay, so cut it in half. We'll go with the usual. You round everything up. So you have four yeah. while in Buffalo Castle. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to do there because it's actually, so we're actually cheating a little by having a level two guy in this adventure. You're not supposed to, but. You're supposed to have level one. And if you really had a true level one guy, that would mean all of your attributes that figure into ads are a maximum of 19, giving you a maximum of seven times four equals 28 ads, plus whatever your weapons are. So in combat, you would have a maximum of 28 plus your weapons, which I think basically means beating an MR-80 creature is just about impossible. So Unless we went with the singing sword or something. Yeah. <laughs> we, start, we decided we can't use that for I don't feel like that's fair, but... Huh? Anyway, we're not back at 3C apparently. Maybe you were supposed to just talk to her or something. Because you're back in the tree room now. Mm. You can always go back north and try the other option, I guess. Which was what? The top tier? 
are you going to back away, or what do you think? Okay, so you're back here at 15, the tree room. This is where we found the boss lady, muscly woman, I guess. So, yeah, uh, what do you think? I don't know. North or south? Uh, well, if I One got... good thing is if you go north, it won't say... If you were previously here, or M hours, what it occurred, what it was last time, she would be back at. Yeah, I at could just 40. go back and try to talk to her. But my charisma's cut in half. Yeah, it's four right now. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I could go back and see what happens. Okay. Hey, what do you mean by go back? Uh, go back into the room. Boss lady. The boss lady. Okay. <clears throat> You're a strong lady again. You can tell by her face that she was drawn by none other than Liz Danforth. See? <laughs> I recognize that art anywhere. Anyway, um, you can fight her, turn around and go back, or try to convince her that you are on a vital mission for the nearby town now that you've killed her twice. Convince her. 28G. <laughs> All right, you have to make a second level charisma saving roll, which is 25 minus 4. I have to make 16. Five oh, you're going to make 25 minus 4, which is... Or 25, so I make uh, 21. What I'm getting out of this is you pretty much need a decent charisma to win this adventure. <laughs> I don't have that. So, let's, let's roll. Maybe oh, do I have lucky. enough to up it? You do, but uh, only by a little bit. We'll see. So, I'll just up it by one. Because I guess all right, I can do um, So, that would make it five. How do you... Do I up it by what it currently is? or? Yeah, let's go by both go up by one. I'm not really sure how it's going to work. We'll go with say it. that. So, you're going to have to... I would say you have to spend 70, though, to increase your 70. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm... Okay. I'm not thinking to spend 40. Sure. So you're at 13, I need to erase all this stuff. And you are at 8. I can just... Maximum and 5 current. I could just leave and enter until my charisma is 1. And then just keep leaving and re-entering. I guess. <laughs> Unless you attack right. me. Then maybe you'll make a miracle roll. We've done it before. Alright, we did it on our first adventure. Let's hope we can do it again. I doubt 21 it. 21 are up. Let's do Hold it. On. Lucky oh, dice. Lucky dice are coming out. This is serious now. Where'd it go? A five. What? Oh. It's a five. It's not well, that's not very good. Well. Okay, so you get ten adventure points because it's a level two saving roll, and you roll a five, so you can double it for the adventure point purposes. Ooh. Anyway, now she attacks you. Oh. Is this the same paragraph as before? Yes, it is. Oh, right, I guess I'm... we're fighting her again. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. You could basically repeat this pattern until you make the charisma roll. Yeah, that's what I was saying before. Until oh, I, that's what you were saying before. Until my charisma gets to one, and then I'll just keep <laughs> doing that. The problem is you're going to be getting beat up in spite. I don't... Well, at any rate, for now you have to fight her. All right. There's no leaving option anymore? Um, not at the moment. All right. We're back at Muscly Woman. Let's go back to the... Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll make a new one. It'll be 20. Muscly Woman NW. Mm. She's also my initials. Um, oh, yeah. Here's Rob Bob. So... I would be getting a lot of better points out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. And now 20. Let's roll. All right. Wait. Is it 20? Oh, yeah, it's 20. Yeah, it's 20. 10, 20. Okay, she got 24, no spite. Um, 27, so 47. Alright, you killed her in one hit and no spite. So you get 20 adventure points. We're at 43 in our mess here. Alright, I'm leaving and re-entering. She killed her with 9C. Buh, buh, buh. Flash of light, etc., etc. You can fight her again or give up and leave. Uh, I'm giving up and leave. 
This is... She congratulates you on being a worthy opponent and offers you the potion you are looking for. What? You accept, shake her hand, and exit, go, exit, go to 2A. So it seems like the secret is you can't persistently fight her. You have to fight her once and then leave. <laughs> Oh, anyway. because uh, you just keep killing her and it would get doubled. Yeah, basically. It would be infinite until you I left. I think so. Yeah. But you have to leave it the right paragraph. There's like two of them alternating, I think. If you leave it the wrong one, then it's basically what happened before. So it's just back out to the tree room. <laughs> but if you... <laughs> oh, because I decided to fight her again. Right. So, okay. so if you just, on the first try, you beat her once and then you quit. You seem to get the potion. Anyway, it says exit to 2A, so I think that's the victory paragraph. I think we win. All right. Sounds good. 2A. That. We might have cheated, but... Uh, yeah, I guess. Cheating is for people who don't care. <laughs> and I am one of those people. Oh, uh, okay, that's an interesting yeah. viewpoint. But okay. <laughs> this is the exit. You must fight one wandering monster before you can leave, so right. you're not out of the woods yet. Roll on the wandering monster table. Hold on, let's finish reading. Okay. To see what monster it is, you must kill him to leave the dungeon. The exit monster never carries treasure. <clears throat> All right. Once you have killed the exit monster, you are out of the dungeon. Congratulations. And we'll read the rest after the wandering monster. Oh, There's a chance cool. you could find a goblin or something that flattens you. I mean a giant or something like that. Yeah. Which would be a sad end for Dwarvo. Let me get a drink of water real quick. This will not be the end for Dwarvo the second. We already have Dwarvo the first, but... This is normal the second. Mm-hmm. You could have just said Dwarf of Junior, by the way. Also, that could have. At any rate. Well, what if I want Dwarf of the third? Well, usually it goes like Dwarf of, Dwarf of Junior, then Dwarf of the third. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. In real life, if your name is Dwarf, of, that's how it would work. Anyway, roll two dice for the Wandering Monster table. Okay. Roll two dice, sorry. Do, do, do. Wait, oh, roll them separate from the rest. Drop the uh, count that as seven. seven. What a very average number. That's Does average that mean number. a very average monster? Hopefully. It's the most common. Yes, it is an orc. All right. Which are have been revised to Uruk in Deluxe Tunnels and Trolls, but this monster never changed his name. MR of 16. Okay, I can do that. Okay, we're gonna call it Uruk because we're we're yeah. modern people. We're progressive. Yeah. And you are I like to come up with a new name each time. D man, me, uh, you're just gonna be junior. <laughs> so this is MR sixteen. <clears throat> Two guys plus eight. You got hit by a spite, unfortunately. Oh, no. <laughs> it matters much. I should be healed after I get home, right? Oh, that's, uh, that's we can say sometimes that, yes. works, usually. So, 25, so 45. Plus 45 minus 17. Enough to kill him. Yeah, that, that's fair enough. Cool Rook is dead. 16 adventure points. <clears throat> so you're at um 50, oops, sorry. Yeah, so this is not going to be five mm -hmm. episodes long. Nope, we're wrapping it up here. No four episodes? No five no, episodes? It's, we're surprisingly already 28 minutes in. Yeah. It's amazing how time flies. It's actually feel so fast. Uh, I have a die keeping track of the page. Here we go. Okay. If you have gotten the potion, the mayor gladly gives you the promised 500 gold pieces. The child is saved, and you are now the hero of the town. The tavern wench is especially appreciative. If you have not gained the potion, you ran from a monster, for instance. What? You are too embarrassed to go back to town and admit defeat, so you leave in the other direction. Okay, but you I... do not get your 100 gold pieces, but you get 100 experience points for surviving adventure. So you don't get experience points for winning? That's weird. Really? All right, fine. You, you kind of collected a lot along the way, so. Yeah. Anyway, you get 500 extra gold. Okay. And you've gotten a, a bunch of jewels and stuff along the way. I was thinking I'd have to do that charisma over and over and over. Hmm? I was thinking I'd have to do that charisma thing oh. over and over. Until you lucked out and made it. So you have 989 gold. Uh, your charisma is back to normal because it was the penalty was only for the extent of the adventure. Yeah, I really need an eraser. Does anybody know which pencils have good erasers? Or do, do they just get bad when they get old or something? Or? This one this one. Hmm? This one well, I kind of already did it. Let's try it out. 
We're doing an eraser demo now, apparently. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, and I guess that's it. That is all of Buffalo Castle. When I say all, I mean we played through it. We did not explore everything. 100% of everything, but I think we got at least 80% uh, or so. Yeah, we did a lot. Not everything, but a lot. If we look back at our map, you're still racing? I'm erasing this grave because he's not oh. dead. Okay. Our undead dwarf. So here's our map. Uh, we were, we ended up here, boss lady. But there was one little section here we did not explore. So I guess probably two rooms, or maybe these went to. These might have led to corridors and maybe several rooms. Who knows? At any rate, I think we got most of the adventure, and and that's it. Any last words? Uh, I'm drawing Dorbo as a hero. Okay, staying staying school kid, and you two can can survive Buffalo Castle like Dwarvo here. All right, beautiful. He's got a beard, a thing on his head. That's his hair. That's his hair. That's him. And his arms are. Um, he is proud because he just proud. helps okay. the person. I don't know. All right, cool. That's anyway. the end. Thanks for watching, folks. And here's a lovely dagger by Liz Danforth in 1979 when I was in diapers and you were imaginary. You were not. You were not on this world yet. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. Mark W. Signing out. And Rob Bob. See you later. Bye.